In this video, I'm going to introduce the concept of a pooled cross-sectional model and explain how it differs from all the models which we've examined thus far. So the idea with a pooled cross-sectional model is that we have a population and we have a population of individuals at time period one. So I'm going to say time equals one here. And from that particular population, we then take a random sample. So we call that S1, our random sample of individuals at time period one. The idea with a pooled cross-sectional model is that we also have that same population of individuals, but at a future point in time. So perhaps it's next year, perhaps it's 10 years from now, but the idea is that it's a different point in time. So I'm gonna label time equals two here. And from this second population, we take another random sample of individuals. So I'm gonna call that random sample S2. And importantly, it's not the case that the individuals which are chosen in S1 are the same individuals who are chosen in S2. And in fact, it, you can actually generalize the pooled cross-sectional model to have T periods. So we could sort of continue arbitrarily to look at that population of individuals. So it could be individual cities, it could be individual people, countries, but now at some time period equal to T. And at that time period T, we also take a random sample of individuals. And this sort of model is different to any of the models which you've examined thus far because of the fact that even though the observations are independent of one another, those observations in S1 are certainly independent of those in S2 and in S3. So we can assume that they're independent of one another, but the problem is we cannot assume that they are identically distributed because essentially the population is changing across time. Individuals get older, things happen. So these populations are not the same. So in pool cross-sectional models, the observations are certainly independent. So that's the assumption which we assumed when we first looked at cross-sectional data, but the observations are not identically distributed. So importantly, these observations aren't IID. Okay, so what does a typical model look like in pooled cross-sectional speak? Well, the idea here is that what we would do is we would look at a dependent variable Y of the ith individual, where I here is going from one, where we're talking about the first individual at time one, and then two, where that would be looking at the second individual at time one, and we continue all the way up to the nth individual at time one, and then some after that, because then we could look at the n plus oneth individual, which would be the first individual at time period two. And in theory, we'd continue all the way up in the two period case here to the two nth individual. So that's what the I means here. It covers not just individuals at one point in time, it covers all individuals at all points in time. And we might think that this dependent variable is related to some sort of constant alpha plus some beta one, some coefficient times a dummy variable where this dummy variable takes on the value of say delta here is equal to one if the time period is equal to two and it takes on the value of zero if the time period is equal to one. So I'm going to call it dummy or delta two and so it's going to come delta two i where it, delta here takes on a value of one if that individual is sampled from time period two and it takes on a value of zero if they're sampled from time period one. And then what we do is we assume that there is some independent variable, which I'm gonna call X. So we're gonna have an individual X for each of these individuals at each point in time. And we're also, oh sorry, that should be beta two rather than beta three. And then finally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna assume that it might be possible that the effect of variable X is changed throughout time. So what we're actually gonna do is we're gonna interact this dummy variable delta 2i with the independent variable x. And we finally have some sort of error ei. So the idea with pooled cross-sectional model 
is, or called cross-sectional OLS, is that we just do ordinary least squares on this particular equation here. So we just essentially stack all of our observations on top of one another and we estimate this model here. And this is quite different, I should say now, to the method we're going to use in studying panel data. But I wanted to introduce pooled cross-sectional models because it's sort of a bridge between cross-sectional models and panel data, which we're going to come on to discuss in future videos.